well this is part of the lecture series character design and development for games part of our course fundamentals of gameplay fundamentals of game design we are talking that uh, good audio design is also part of the character design because the way the character will speak the sound he will make also defines his personality it also affects the player will he enjoy the game or not will he like the character or not and also the sound the language he will uh, make it should uh, reflect the reality the real situation something that will meet the player's psychological expectation what happened <coughs> okay high sound light and found match with visual texture i think the sound should match the visual appearance of the character maybe the surrounding action surrounding people you can create mismatch in comedy type games to uh, create some funny situation sometimes you can associate some music with the with the player or with the avatar it should match harmoniously and in terms of design aspect in the implementation aspect you can keep the music sound effect dialogue related files in separate files because if you try to change something then you can just uh, change that particular file you don't have to mix up and sometimes uh, the music and the sound effect should have separate volume control for some people if the music is on they can hear the sound effect and it makes the gameplay difficult so they can turn off the music and they can go with the sound effect to play the game and also the way a person a character speaks conveys a lot of information about him or her so when you design a character you have to set his language his sounds his voice accordingly so that it makes sense it it defines the personality i think the way he is represented in the game his voice his sound his language also should define him accordingly the vocabulary he will use it should be consistent the vocabulary may indicate the age of the of the character the social class of the character his level of education of the character i think teenagers they may use slang if the character is not educated don't read much they may not have strong vocabulary i think educated people they can use some complex sentence sentence structure or lengthy sentence structure so when you will define those different characters you also have to define their vocabulary their sentence and sentence structure complexity of the sentence and if you have some teen teenage teenage character you may use some slang but remember if you use the very recent very current slang after 6 month when the game will release people will know that the slangs are 6 months old so you have to come up with some trade off so that when the game will release they still everything will make sense and still everything will be relevant with the real world and the accent of the characters also matter it may define his or her place of origin his social class if he is a city people or country people usually city people and country people talk differently sometimes the accent can indicate the intelligence maybe or maybe not sometimes yes sometimes not i think this uh, stereotypes and dumb red tag and dumb negro i think these are something some stereotypes that are advised to be avoided in games how the characters deliver the information that is speed the tone <coughs> those should be well defined uh, 
I think it is advised to steer clear of stereotypes and this speed and tone use them appropriately to express an anxiety, suspicion or to express emotional state, hostile, cynical, guarded and so on I think what it is that as you are designing the character you should define those uh, speed and tone accordingly but uh, you have to define it in such a way so that it doesn't offend, offend any particular group and throw you through the speed and tone you don't humiliate any particular group I think here they wrote the sentence I think for an example they used some <coughs> game where the designer has defined the characters in terms of their education intelligence and interests and also as an example it was mentioned that in Starcraft which draws on a variety of American accents to create several different types of characters they use different accents for different characters maybe if it's appropriate makes sense in your game you can also use it okay that's about it we are done here the references are here and have a good day bye good luck